Okay, hi, it's Starcy Channel. I'm Yoshi. So today, I am planning to have a special guest. Well, I have been longing to speak with him for a long time. And it's a day my dream came true today. He stands foremost among today's study about prenatal memory and also a head obstetrician at Ikigawa Clinic. Here we have Dr. Akira Ikigawa as a guest today. Nice to see you. Hi, nice to see you too. Wow. So I have been reading various books that you have written. Hmm? My favorite one is this. Children are here to tell you precious messages. Thank you very much. Dr. Kigawa, one of the main questions I am aiming to ask you today is, many of the members in our Starseed community have memories of lifetimes on other planets, and I'm curious about that, but before getting into that, can we hear what prenatal memories are? Ah, of course, yes. The term prenatal memories was first introduced by Makoto Shichida. He is the founder of former Shichida Child Academy, and it's called the Shichida Method, and co-writer Yoji Tsunabuchi. They published a book together about prenatal memories. The term was used intentionally for the very first time as far as I know. I think it was a bit later, 1990, and the term prenatal memories did not exist until then. The term means children carries their memories when they were in their mum's tummy. Obviously, the public criticized the idea because there were no concepts such as babies carries memories before they are born at that time. Now, gradually, children started to talk about it and has been increasing in past years. Some have memories not even when they were in mummy's belly, but way before that, before having a body and some tells us about their past lives. Some of them had memories when they were sperm and egg, so prenatal memories include all these mysterious stories. Some say prenatal memories are only limited whilst being in mum's tummy, but no one is studying about it. There is no one to standardize the term so far, so I include all these memories before the birth and also neonatal period in this term. Prenatal memories. You have a question? Oh, yes. May I just say, I was also shocked when I first learnt about it. Yes, I agree. But these records and data are based on what you actually heard from children, and they are very true, aren't they? Yes, I only record what they answered to my questions. And according to the data, one about 100 adults also has those memories. It isn't a small number, and there's one thing in common that no matter what their ages are, they will never talk about it depending on how people react. I was told they're not supposed to talk about it because they feel people are judging them, so they shut their mouth. Overwhelmingly large number of the people are the cases. People finally started to be interested in those stories, but parents used to tell children not to speak about it and it was a taboo. Many parents used to introduce their children as a strange children. They barely tell anyone what they tell them, and I found people who had prenatal memories had to go through uncomfortableness in their lives. There is an enormous difference now and then. Mm, that means many of the people were born with their prenatal memories yet. They were never asked about it, first of all. Or they were not allowed to tell the stories so that people didn't know. They didn't even know those facts back then. Yes, indeed. It just can't happen in general, in medical nor in science. It's been believed brain carries all the memories, which means there is no way to memorize anything before the brain fully develops. 
It used to be an utter nonsense to talk about memories when they were sperms and eggs. I've met quite many of both men and women who have those memories. I see. And what I found amazing the most in your book is the idea that children choose which parents to be with. Mm-hmm. That's something I appreciate to know about. Yes. Well, we won't know about it unless someone tells us. Mm-hmm. But I now know my children have chosen me. I feel grateful for that fact. Mm, that's how I feel raising my children. Yes. Can you please tell us about that too? How do they choose parents? Yes, a lot of adults think they know about children and what their world is like. But I would say they are probably wrong. There are various cases. Some children choose their parents happily. Some had to choose one whether if they like them or not. And some are forced to come down to their parents. Mm. Also, someone told me they took wrong slide and had to go back to where they were meant to go. Mm. It seems not all the children have chosen their parents by their will. Mm. On the other hand, people who are going under infertility treatment tend to think they are not chosen. The basic preparation is necessary to be pregnant and deliver a baby. It all depends on what soul level each children are in, and also the mums. Sometimes children think they are too much to handle for certain mums. In that case, they decide to leave by miscarriage once and give a shock to the parents for them to develop their soul level so they can create a comfortable environment. In other cases, they can't come if moms are not eating healthy natural food or using or taking any chemicals agents and mostly about their mental health. It seems negative thoughts build up toxins. They need to be healthy to welcome the baby, some said. Mm. There's another case, some don't need children. Some parents are fulfilled and their souls are matured. The children don't need to go and give them a chance to grow. There is no point to be born to those parents. Some people think that way, it seems. However, the most difficult case is if parents don't welcome children to their life. Even though they think they want children, they don't allow them to come subconsciously. Some also said they can't come unless parents allow them to come. Another question people always ask me is why children choose parents who abuse their children. Mm. It's rather complicated, but all the children said they do choose their parents. It's not that I spoke to the person who experienced it. I mean, I spoke to some adults and they also said they have chosen their parents. Mm. They never say they want to be abused. Because the mums are very gloomy and not smiling, they want to make them happy. And they hope they smile again by being there as their baby. That's their expectation as children, but they also expect it may not happen as well. Mm. It's okay if their hope didn't come true, but if it did, that's a bonus for them. So they do hope to make the parents happy by being there. Mm. But people find it offensive to hear children choose and be killed by parents' violence, who they have chosen. There was this preschool girl called Yuachan who wrote a letter to her mum for forgiveness for acting like a child. But her handwriting was so neat. Mm-hmm. Who taught her that? It has to be her mum. She wouldn't teach how to write to her child if she's only there to abuse and kill. Mm. And in the trial, the mum said she did love Yuachan, and I believe she did love her child. She did not know how to express her love, mm. otherwise it wouldn't make sense how neat her handwriting was.